Hey, welcome, thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a Hello and welcome. Time. Yes, my name is Clive from ClivesArt.co.uk and thank you very much for and joining me in the preparation so video. Now, this is how I normally prepare a canvas for the painting you're about to see or already have seen. <laughs> So if I'm going to prepare a, a big canvas, I guess, say, say for a, a wet and wet bog broth type of technique, uh, any landscape really, I tend to go through the same type of um, procedure. So basically, this is how it comes. It's, it's covered in cellophane. I've just cut the plastic, removing the plastic like this very carefully. Now, as you know, I don't know where this has been. It could have been absolutely anywhere. It could have also been contaminated um, in, in manufacturing, I don't know. So the front part of the canvas there could have grease spots. I know it sounds quite taut, but when it gets wet, it tends to go a bit flippy floppy. And that's not what we want. Now you should also have these things called keys. Now they're little wooden um, triangular type elongated bits of wood <laughs> which go in the corner of the canvas now i'll show you how to fit them if you you haven't got them but you've got the holes then you can make these out of a little bit of wood yes anything like that anything um you could, you, you could use anything really as long as you can cut it or use a little tiny saw or something like that but some canvases come with them some canvases don't don't know why i think it's a point about saving money so I've got a spritzer bottle. This is not a fine mist bottle. This is a actual spritzer bottle. In other words, the difference between this head and that head, which is my fine misting bottle, which I use for my wet and wet techniques, is the size of that little tiny hole in there. That's a very, very fine, minute atomizer where this is more of a spritzer. So in other words, it lets more water through the nozzle. So what I do with this is I just spray that, and this is just ordinary tap water. Um, I use... Um, deionized water but you can use what I normally do if, if rather than filter it because I'm a window cleaner so I always got deionized water <laughs> boil some water let it cool fill up a pot bottle um, I normally got one of these I got both three or four of these pot bottles in the studio because I haven't got any water supply here and I normally keep them down and um, because they're distilled then um, they won't go smelly water tends to go a bit smelly sometimes so all I do is saturate the back of that canvas. Get down in there as well. Get around there. Let that canvas go all oh, flippy floppy. <clears throat> there we go. Give it a couple of minutes. Let it soak. Hello. Yes, I just want to quickly talk about my fine mist atomizer bottle. Now, this is a very fine mist bottle that you can actually dampen down your canvas when or painting surface when you're working with acrylics to allow the paints to stay open that little bit longer because acrylics dry by forming the skin. So if you've got a very fine mist and that is sprayed onto the onto the painting, it's not going to dry out so quick. And um, these are available on my website, www.cly5art.co.uk. Please pop along there. There is videos there showing you all different other products. And there's some uh, videos in the iCards. If you want to press the iCard there, that's going to take you into a series of playlists where you can actually see me using all my products in all the paintings. Yes, so without further ado, let's get on. Okay, so that's had a couple of minutes and it's soaked quite well. Now, um, well, this is how I go about it. Let me just remove my little block. I've got a little block there that stands the canvas up. Because um, I don't use the... Oop! Ah, I don't use the easel in a conventional way because of filming. But if I was, then obviously this would be just locked up. So we've got uh, two, four, six, eight of those, I think. I think it's eight. Anyway, two. Get a little hammer. And um, these go that way. In. I'll just put this one in. I'll show you on the other. Just tap that in like that. There is other videos to show you how to do this. And um, if you come a bit closer, I'll show you this corner. So that chamfer there goes in that way. Okay, so push it in a little bit by hand and then just tap that in with a hammer. And make sure that that's actually going in. It's going in the wood like that. See? Not like that. Because if you put it in straight, that point is going to poke through the side of your canvas. So make sure it goes in on an angle like that and then sits flush against the bottom of the canvas. 
otherwise you'll be in trouble and you'll have your cameras break in because the point will actually push through now i'm going to continue with that and then let's get on to the next stage so go all the way around and then we'll go about tightening it up it's time to learn with our friend clive so grab your brush have a great time and don't forget to click subscribe okay so once you've done that then you need to actually go around and tighten them up and i found the best way of doing this is working around in a clockways fashion so let's do that it's time to learn with our friend Clyde. so grab your brush have a great time and don't forget to click subscribe visit clive5r.co.uk And then what we do then we test that we turn that around and then we can test that now because that's wet and it's tight when it dries it's going to get in tighter so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to proceed to do two coats of a gesso primer onto that canvas and get that ready for painting and all we need to do is just get our homemade gesso or a shop bit bit both gesso and apply two coats and um, allowing it drying in between and then we're ready to paint it's as simple as that that's how to prepare a canvas hey welcome thanks for stopping by it's time to learn with our friend clive so grab your brush have a great time and don't forget to click subscribe Visit Clive5R.co.uk